Beverly Walton, and I'm the Executive Director of the Community Patient Safety Coalition of Southwestern Indiana, Kentucky. We are a non-for-profit organization, and we have, um, we consist of 12 hospitals and two surgery centers in the Southwest Indiana, Kentucky area. Our mission is to provide safe health care for all the patients in the tri-state area by providing communication with hospitals and health care providers and community organizations. Beverly uh, was instrumental uh, initially in helping us uh, organize and uh, get out an Ebola uh, team. Uh, ended up having uh, weekly conference calls and then uh, put on a tabletop with over 150 members and found a lot of our big holes in our preparedness program for uh, infectious agents and were able to fix those holes and work on a whole new plan for uh, addressing infectious agents within the area. And so it was very instrumental and I knew that I would be turning to this group in the future because she has access to all of the regional hospital CEOs and they are on her uh, advisory board and they develop uh, common processes throughout the hospital for infection prevention, uh, management of uh, catheters, uh, and it's very easy then uh, as a group to implement those plans across the region. Uh, and uh, I didn't know if she'd be interested in the outpatient sector, but our second uh, interchange was around the flu visitation protocols uh, that we worked with the hospitals on and Beverly was able to help us get it out to all the hospitals so that on one singular day everybody had the same restrictions on visitation and there were, were no hospitals that were still allowing people. There was a lot less community angst over it when all the hospitals were able to come out as a singular group and say, okay, on this day flu visitation uh, restrictions are in place. And then uh, the Indiana State Department of Health put out an application for a competitive grant uh, for immunizations. And I had looked at our immunization completion rates up to the three-year-old, and they were fairly poor at 52%. And so I contacted uh, several of the hospitals and again contacted my friend, Beverly Walton, and uh, said, you know, we have this opportunity to uh, develop a program to improve immunization rates within our 18-month uh, uh, to three-year-old uh, children. Uh, and uh, would you be interested? And she, again, uh, like a trooper, said, you know, this is a health issue, and health care is migrating more and more to the outpatient sector and to population health and control of illnesses. And here we had a real topic uh, where we could uh, develop the program, develop uh, the technical uh, needs that were required, and then actually measure an outcome. We actually used a collective impact model and the health department turned out in this uh, instance to be the backbone organization and hopefully will remain the backbone organization in the future because I like to think of ourselves as a neutral convener. We have no competitive issue. Uh, some of the hospitals may have competitive issues uh, uh, within the region, but we don't have one and we can actually call them to the table as friends and co-workers. So uh, I think that has worked fairly well. So as kind of a result of that, we went into our next project, which was immunization. Uh, Dr. Spear called and asked if we would like to, you know, participate in that campaign, and we thought, great, that would be a great idea. What we were able to do with the help of a consulting group was to narrow down everything into a handful of issues. So these were health issues that the community either expressed through focus group information or through data that were problematic for our community. One of our major areas that performed poorly on data and received a lot of, we'll say kind of negative feedback in the focus groups had to do with mental health, mental disorders, and substance abuse also ranked high on the list. When the group got together and talked, we said these really aren't two separate issues because most often they're co-occurring. And so it was the opinion of our group that we mesh all of that together. And so we just said behavioral health was an issue and a problem for our area. So that's one of the uh, topics we're gonna spend the next three years addressing. 
And that is one that we've had a lot of collaboration on because it is such a widespread and systemic issue. So our groups have broadened from just social service providers into law enforcement, uh, into social workers, into psychiatrists and psychologists. We have some physicians who are very active in this process because they see this, they live this every day. So we discovered okay. that we had um, some serious issues with premature birth. We found that we had very early births and then regular premature, premature birth. So we had infant mortality rates that are equivalent to that of some third world countries. And that was really disheartening for us to see. You kind of knew that maybe we had more than others, but to learn that in the state of Indiana, we were the worst. That was really hard for our group to take because we spend so much time and energy trying to help those moms and help those babies get the help they need, and it didn't seem to be working. So that was an area where the collaboration, I think, is going to and has already made some significant differences. So through you know, several programs about smoking cessation, through uh, the Healthy Baby Steps initiative, we're trying to work together in every area that we provide care to get these young moms to follow a few simple things that will make them more likely to have a healthy pregnancy, a healthy delivery, and for those babies to make it till their first birthday. Uh, we're trying to grow this as big as possible so that people can come and go as necessary for various projects. Uh, we have a project coming up right now, or we have a project on uh, going on right now that's actually been regionalized to uh, 12 of the hospitals in the region on healthy baby steps and fetal infant mortality. And uh, at our uh, initial press conference, we had 110 people and uh, CEOs and uh, chief nurses uh, from the hospitals all supporting this initiative. So. so what we also discovered in the second round of the community health needs assessment is that our community was still overweight. They were still heavily diabetic pre-diabetic, that they were not making good nutritional choices, even though there were many opportunities for free exercise through parks, through walking trails, bicycle programs, a lot of people just weren't utilizing those services. So to us, this is a need that we need to investigate and we're gonna spend the next three years working on. One thing we learned from the completion of the first community health needs assessment was that we did not have a good way to track our data. We were trying to make all this positive change in the community and we had no way to know if we were successful or not. That was a huge lesson learned for us. So on our second time around, we made plans. We did work with a consulting firm to find out that we could have a website. And what that's gonna do is it is going to track specifically all of the measures for the different health needs assessment priorities that were identified. So as an entire community, we can look at that. If we're not able to explain to the community, this is what we're doing and this is where we ended up. If we don't have a means to track that, then what we've done is for naught. One thing that we know is that all of the issues that we face as a community, I don't face them alone, you don't face them alone. We all face the same issues, uh, whether it's um, physical health, whether it's mental health, whether it's substance abuse, uh, social issues. Uh, we cannot, no one organization can combat these issues alone. And I think the most important thing I would say that we've learned here is not only the participation of everyone and how important it is, but communication, communication, communication. Um, with the health department being the backbone of this new coalition being developed, I think it works out really well and we involved um, school systems and universities and other health departments as well as hospitals and community um, organizations. So um, it's just been a win-win, this relationship for both of us. And Dr. Spear was talking a little bit about competition. Um, well, um, in patient safety, our hospitals, there, there is no competition. I mean, we're all working for the betterment and the safety of the patient. So. Um, I think that's one of the beauties of this too. It is in line with what the Vandenberg County Health Department wants, wants to do with this coalition that we put together. 
A wonderful result of this latest round of the community health needs assessment is a great sense and a great spirit of community collaboration. We have tried our best to bring everybody to the table surrounding our three identified areas and that was the maternal fetal infant child health, the exercise, nutrition, and weight, the behavioral health. So we have this wonderful coalition and for the next three years we've got them subdivided into their respective groups and they each have three goals that they're going to achieve over those three years. And so we know that uh, these things cannot be done. These, uh, all of the aspects of community health cannot be um, treated by just one organization. Uh, so it takes, it takes a collaboration. I would tell every health officer uh, around the, the state or around the country that if you have a community patient safety coalition in your area, get to know them. They're an important asset to uh, population health. They're an important avenue to the hospitals. Uh, and also be very neutral in your approach uh, to all of the competitive health issues in your um, or competitors in your marketplace. Uh, you know, I I, uh, I I feel very neutral towards the whole issue. I want them to be able to come to the health department and discuss anything uh, as retaining as uh, to population health. To uh, um, and I, I think they do feel uh, that we have been a neutral convener.